Hi, I'm Steph, and I just got done paddling, and it was a little windy on the water today, so I decided to come back in my car, and I wanted to film a six-month review video of my Oryu Kayak Inlet. So I got this exactly six months ago, and I wanted to talk about kind of all the journey I've had with it because um, I had some concerns when I first got it. One of them was, is it going to last? Another one is, is it worth the money? Another one is, is it a lot of work to put together? Am I going to be like annoyed putting it together, taking it apart? Uh, is it fragile? So all those questions I'm going to answer today. So come join me. So the first thing I wanted to answer was how many times I've used it in six months. So I've actually been keeping track. So I have actually used it 35 times, which averages about six times per month. And that is actually about 60 hours in all. So some of those were short trips, some of them were long trips. The longest trip I probably took in this was about four hours. And I have done a lot with it. I have gone in a lot of windy conditions. Today was windy. <laughs> um, I have taken it on some kind of rough conditions. So where there's like gunk in the water and some muck in the water. And I've also taken it uh, just like on big open water. So I've taken it in a lot of places and I just took it camping so i loaded this up with gear the weight limit on this is uh 275 pounds and i loaded it with um about with me and all it was about 220 or 230 pounds and it held it all really well so i've kind of put it through the paces so one of those initial concerns i had was is it going to be hard to put together uh you know just regularly all the time and obviously at first it was like the very first time i did it because i had never done it before but it is really easy. It takes me about maybe three minutes to put it together. Um, and then to pack it up, it maybe takes me about five minutes because I have to clean it off. I use a microfiber to clean it off and then I pack it up. It really takes me less time than it would an inflatable and less time than it does to put a hard shell kayak on a car. And this is the Oryu Kayak Inlet. And so this is their entry level model. Currently, they actually have a brand new one that is about to re-release so that will be the entry level but this is currently the entry level so it takes the least amount of time to put together. Now another concern I had was is it going to break easily and I will say like I said at the beginning I've taken it through some pretty intense conditions and it's made it through. Um, I have not been on the water and had any concern that you know I had a hole or anything but there are some issues. So number one, I do want to remind you that Oryu offers a one-year warranty and I have contacted a customer service twice. One time the screw out of my seat actually fell out and I contacted them asking what screw it is, is it like, can I go find it? And they actually responded within an hour, less than an hour. And they said, we'll send you a new seat. So um, within like a week or two, I got a new seat sent to me. Uh, so uh, with the with the screw in it. So that was really great customer service. And now the second time I contacted customer service was uh, very recently, I actually have a hole in the bottom of my kayak. Um, and I'm gonna make a whole video about that um, to kind of explain it. And the water is getting into the channel of the kayak. I have fixed it. I still think it's gonna be an issue, but I, like I said, I'll explain that more in, um, in a future video, probably in the next couple weeks. And the other couple little issues was I bent the seat, actually the new seat that Oreo sent me, I bent the seat once. Uh, I was able to bend it back because it's just hard plastic, so it's really not a huge deal, but I did bend the seat, um, just fell backwards on the seat. And, um, and so I don't really need to fix that. Um, and I have two seats because Oreo sent me a second one, so I'm good to go on that. And the last thing is there are just some scratches on the bottom of the kayak, um, which is pretty normal for really any kayak. I don't see that as a huge issue. They're, they're just superficial. They haven't popped or anything. There's like no holes where the scratches are, but that's the only other kind of issue that's happened in the last six months. But again, Oryu covers it for one year. So I'm going to continue to contact them if and when I have issues and we'll see how they respond. So overall, what are my thoughts on the Oryu Inlet kayak? Well, I think it handles great. It's not hard to keep straight. It's easy to maneuver. Those are things that I had read that might be a concern, but I found it really enjoyable. Uh, and speaking of enjoyable, it's fun. It's fun to use. Uh, people will always stop and ask you about your, about the kayak and, um, and it's just, it's fun. And I've actually used, so I've gone kayaking with my Oryu in the last six months, but I've also kayaked with a couple other hard shell kayaks. And I will tell you when I was using the other rented hard shell kayaks, I actually missed my Oryu. So I really love this thing. Um, and whenever I kayak, it actually feels like it's a part of me. Like it's like an extension of me. And I think that's like the best kayaks feel, probably feel like that. 
Um, it is my favorite kayak I've ever used and I love it. If I could have my kayak with me most times, I'm gonna have it with me. Also, I was really impressed with it when we went kayak camping. Like I said, it held all my gear, me and all my gear, and I had like five gallons of water and it held it all perfectly and it still maneuvered really well. So that I was actually really impressed with that because this kayak is just made for kind of casual kayaking. It's not made for traveling and things like that. So I was kind of pushing it to its limits, but it did perfect with that. Now I'm gonna make a full video about this, but my mom actually has an inflatable kayak and I have a foldable. And I will tell you, I love the foldable way more than the, than the inflatable. What I've realized is you don't need a pump to put it together like you do an inflatable. And when you have a, a pump, it's loud. So we, are, we use a uh, electric pump because the hand pump is like no go, but it's loud and kind of annoying. And for this kayak, it's not loud. It's very quiet to put together, very peaceful, and it doesn't take much time at all. It actually takes less time to put this together than it does to blow up my mom's inflatable. Now, there are a couple of things I do specifically because this is a foldable kayak. One of those is I try to get in the kayak on the water, meaning if there's a dock I can get on, then I will launch from the dock, and I try not to launch from um, like a concrete surface or even a sand surface if I can avoid it. Um, I will, but I tried to ideally launch from a dock so I don't have any issues with it scratching the bottom of the kayak. I also always make sure that the kayak is clean after I kayak. I clean it off with a microfiber cloth and then if it got kind of dirty when I get home, I'll clean it with fresh water. But also I keep it in my house. So um, they say that this is not great with like changing conditions, meaning like from hot to cold to stuff like that. So it's not good to be stored in a garage is kind of what they say online. And lastly, I don't kayak in questionable areas. So if there, we have a lot of cypress trees here in Florida on the water. And when you get close to the cypress trees, there's these knees that are smaller along the way that could um, puncture a hole in my kayak. So I try to avoid getting into like dangerous areas, even though it would be fun to do. Uh, but I would only do that in a hard shell kayak that was maybe a rental. So if there was an issue, it wouldn't be my problem. <laughs> but uh, so that would be the last thing I do specifically because this is a foldable kayak. I've also tried out a lot of different kayaking gear over this last six months and I made some modifications to the Oryu to make it more comfortable. And I'm actually gonna share those all in a separate video, but uh, one big thing I'm gonna focus on is the seat because that on its own is not the most comfortable. So I've, I've made some modifications to make it, make it pretty nice. So who's this kayak for? In my opinion, it's probably for smaller people. Um, I am, weigh 140 and I am about five, three by four um, and I fit perfect in this kayak. I feel very comfortable in it and it holds 275 pounds but I think if you're taller it might not be as comfortable but they make different models that would hold you a little bit more comfortable especially if you're taller. I would also say it's for some th someone that pays attention to things so uh, you need to make sure you're not going over you know hard surfaces you're not going in areas where there's a lot of rocks where you could kind of scratch up the kayak so i would say someone that kind of pays attention is conscientious that's the kind of person that will really do well in this kayak did this meet all my needs my expectations all of that the answer is yes i've been able to do all the kayaking i want in this and i even unexpected you know going going camping in it it has met, met and exceeded all my expectations but i want more <laughs> so they have a kayak called the bay st which is a um little bit longer and it's made for um for more like multi-day trips and kite and camping it also has a closed cockpit and so that is what that is on my list as my next kayak and they also just released a brand new entry-level model called the lake the oru kayak lake and uh, it's on kickstarter right now until may something and we actually we backed it <laughs> so my mom wanted it um, it would also be nice to have for friends and family that want to come kayaking. So we ordered that and that should be here in August. So we will soon have not one, not two, but three Oryu kayaks. And uh, so if you're wondering if, if I'm enjoying it, yes, yes, I am. <laughs> now, I think one of the biggest obstacles with the Oryu kayaks is the price. And I think that is with any kayak. Uh, you can get a lot more inexpensive kayaks that are inflatable and spend way less money. And obviously only you can answer that, but this kayak was $8.99 and I totally think it was worth it. Um, it's definitely not the highest price kayak, but it's not the lowest price. 
Um, I think it was totally worth it. I'm able to get on the water when I want, where I want, and that's invaluable. Um, I've definitely been considering getting a hard shell kayak just to kind of have that experience, but I can't get over the fact that I can't fit it on my Mini Cooper. I don't, I don't have a roof rack and I don't have doors where I could put like the strapping through. So I literally can't, you know, hold that. Um, there are some things I can buy for it, roof rack kind of like options, but they're all like five, $700. And then at that point, like I could have a nice down payment on an Oryu kayak. So, um, so I'm sticking with the Oryu kayaks. I'm not saying I'm never going to have a hard shell kayak. I would like to have the experience of having a hard shell kayak, but, um, I'm loving my folding kayaks. I'm loving the Oryu brand. So thanks for joining. If you have any questions about the kayak, um, the inlet, let me know. Um, I'll try to answer those. And like I said, I'm going to make some more videos about the, the whole and about the modifications I've done to the kayak pretty soon. So thanks for joining. Have a great day. And I'll see you in another six months. I'll do another video. Mm-hmm. <laughs>